Hey, it's Shanna with Shanna's Wire Wrap Jewelry. Thanks for coming back to my channel today and we're going to be making these little mini photo frames. Aren't they adorable? I love it and I just cut off some branches from our front yard and I thought I can use those and so I chopped them into smaller pieces. So hopefully you can find something like this or cut some yourself or even just find a small wooden block or something. You need some 18 gauge wire, some little mini pictures, and some jewelry tools. So I'm going to make um, this little snail. Look how cute this is. A little snail. And this could be a little butterfly or a flower. And definitely this one is a little flower. So they're just really cute and it just holds a mini picture. You can make these as big as you want though. So if you want to make a much bigger then this, maybe you can use a 16 gauge wire, but 18 gauge is gonna be perfect for us today. All right, let me move all this stuff out of the way. <clears throat> and I think I'm gonna go ahead and just make them the same color again because I thought that was really cute. Okay, so to make our little snail. Oh well, I misplaced my blue somewhere. So we're going to make the snail purple. Well, let me get all this stuff out of the way. We'll keep this little guy here for reference. Okay, I always flush cut the end of the wire. It just looks a lot better. Now let's do this. On this snail, he's actually pretty easy to make. You're going to start with a little spiral. And wrap it around a couple of times. You'll see how I always hold my tool at the same place and I just kind of wrap my wire around. The snail kind of has a flat bottom on it and then we're gonna give him a little tail, just like that. And we're gonna wrap this up and around and now we're gonna make his little head over here. We're gonna make his little tentacle by making a tiny, 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 tiny little spiral on the top there. And we want it to be even smaller than that, so let's use our chain nose pliers and flatten that down really little. And then get your needle nose pliers in there carefully and hold it as you bring it down just behind the original wire. And we're gonna do that again on this side. Bring it up and circle around. You just wanna work on the very tip of that because you want these to be as small as you can get them. See that? And then hold behind and we're gonna kind of make his little head here by just coming around. Looky there. He looks pretty good. I probably could have made his body just a little bit fatter, but then we need to make a circle all the way around and this will hold our photo. And then take your wire in the middle and bring it straight down. And you can always test it with something just to see. You need to push that in so it can hold the picture. And that's gonna be perfect. And then you decide how long you want it. Cool, guys, let's get started on this little butterfly. I'm going to get my red wire. I'm going to flush cut the end of this. And I'm going to start with just kind of making a little curve like this. We want to make these little leaf shapes. <clears throat> As I was making this up, it was originally going to be some leaves. And when I put them all together, it looked like a butterfly. So that's what we're going to call it. But you can be creative and do whatever you want. 
If I bend this wire directly behind and then I hold the very tip of it and bend it out and bend this one this way, see how we get that little leaf shape or wing shape, and then bend it back behind itself. And then we're going to keep doing the same thing. making them all the same size. So this is curved in this way and I wanna bend the tip of this back. Take this one this way and I always use my thumbnail to assist me as I'm bringing that back. It takes some practice but you can always rewind and try to watch me do it again. And I'm gonna bring this on top. That way I can bend it behind. Bend the tip of that back. Take this wire this way, and I always use my thumb to kind of assist me in, in shaping that as I pull the wire down. Now look at that, how cute. So very, very cute. Okay, so if we take that all the way down, um, you know, that kind of looks like a butterfly. That's going to pass as a butterfly. But we need to make our circle. So if this is the bottom, we're going to take this and make a circle all the way around. And I'm holding the wire in just one place on the bottom as I take this wire and I wrap it behind. I'm not trying to shape the wire with the tool because I don't want to scratch that finish off. <clears throat> See that? And I'm going to take this and bend it straight out. And you can test it with a little picture. Get that behind there. Looks pretty good. And then see how I made these little swirlies below the butterfly? Let's go ahead and add a couple of those. So if I use the tool to kind of swirl this around kind of three quarters of the way and then use the smaller end of the tool to finish. And then I'm going to do one more below it. Use the larger part of the tool to get all the way around and then about three quarters of the way up. Hold it with the smallest part of the tool. And that's all you need to do. And snip it where you'd like it. And there we have our second little photo frame. And then the last one is really fun and easy. And I'll go ahead and use my gold wire for this one. This little flower, all we do is just make a swirl in the middle. Flush cut your end. And we're going to swirl it a couple of times around. And you want to keep this pretty small if you're making the mini frames. Maybe draw it out on a piece of paper where you can kind of reference what size you want it to be. Once you get it here, then I want you to bend it out and use the larger end of your tool, however big you want those leaves to get. Just until it touches the swirl, then bring it out. And put your tool in there at the same place every time, just until it touches, and then bring it out. And that's it on that one, little one. If you wanted to, you could always add like a couple of little leaves and it would be the same way we did the top of this flower over here. So if you wanted to, you could take this around. Bend that back, create a little leaf, take it straight down and then you can do one over on the other side.
and then that's straight down. Wouldn't that be adorable? And look! Okay, and all you're going to need now is your little wooden block, whatever little block you're going to use, and you need a drill bit that's going to fit the size of your wire, and then just drill the holes where you want. I, I put them all in one line, but you do it however you want. And then if you can get like a little drop of glue, just a, just a white glue, or I'm going to use this wood glue because it's all I happen to have on hand. Double check the height of your little photo frames. You might want them to be different height. Um, and I like these two. I'm gonna cut this one slightly shorter. Oh, that's better. And once they're all glued in place, then you can kind of bend them over so that you can put your photos in there so they won't overlap. But that's all you do, guys. It's kind of hard to get the glue down into these little tiny holes, but just kind of work it carefully. You don't need very much glue on it. You just don't want these to spin. And you kind of have to work it in a little bit. But once you know how to make these shapes, you can make them for all kinds of things. You could be making them for little bookmarks, little charms. If you have a glue that isn't, doesn't dry transparent, then you want to remove the excess. Just enough glue in there so when these are dry, they're not going to spin around on you. And then just print out some pictures. So what I've done is I've taken some digital photos over to Walmart and had a little um, small picture printed that is a collage. Of little pictures that way you can get little tiny pictures these are about one inch by one and a half inches all right look how stinking cute now my glue is not completely dry but it will and then these can just be really cute little gifts you can help at some girls and do this for little parties or these can be little gifts to hand out for all kinds of different occasions. Well I hope you have fun making them. Thanks for joining me today and keep a lookout and we'll learn some more wire crafts and jewelry. See you next time.